Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. In this video, we're going to take a look at the PLSQL function result cache, a feature introduced in Oracle 11G to improve the performance of function calls from SQL statements. If you haven't watched the previous videos in the series, I'd suggest you go and watch those first. It'll all make a bit more sense that way. Let's restate the problem. We create a test table, populate it with 10 rows with only three distinct values. Then we create a function that's quite slow. We then call that function from the select list and we get terrible performance. The function takes one second per call. We have 10 rows, so we get 10 calls, which gives us a total elapsed time of about 10 seconds. Let's see if we can fix this using the PLSQL function result cache. We recreate the function using the result cache clause. This tells Oracle to consider this function for result caching. Each unique call of the function now has its result cached. If the function is called again with the same parameter, the values used from the cache rather than running the function again. With only three distinct values, we get three runs of the function, so it takes about three seconds to complete the query. That's the same sort of performance as scalar subquery caching, but look what happens if we run the query again. We still made 10 calls to the function, but all the results were already cached, so we didn't have to run it once. That means we got a really fast execution time. The result cache is stored in the SGA, so it's shareable between sessions. If we reconnect to the database and run the statement again, we can see we still get great performance. Remember, there are caveats associated with any form of caching, so check out the articles listed in the description box to get more information. Thanks for watching. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.